I want to go over how to use Flowwise chat widgets in your application. I'll explain a little bit about Flowwise, why I used it over N8N, and then the struggles I had with cores. That's really what you get out of this really is how to fix a cores issue. Because I'm using Coolify, it, it might have been easier if I was using my own Nginx, but in this case it will cover a little bit of Coolify. Now what we want here is to just use our widget and get results. Okay. And I use Flowwise to pull this off because after watching Leon Van Zyl's videos, it just has some benefits over N8N. Not only can you run it yourself with a license that is open source, Apache license, but we it just has a little bit more finish to it when it comes to doing LLMs and agent stuff. It still can be used with N8N because N8N or Active Pieces can do the integrations with Telegram or whatever. But when you want to do the chat, you can pull this out. Let me show you. So here I made a chat flow with your tool, your retriever for the documents, and the chat OpenAI. And then I was able to use their document store, which is really neat. It just really brings it together versus N8N. And N8N is great. There's no down on that. I'm just showing you a bit of more finish. So in here, I was able to upload a document and then go through the options in a UI that I was a little bit more comfortable with once I understood it to say what embeddings are we using, what service are we going to use for the vector storage, and even this one where if I connect it to my Postgres, as he talks about in his videos, it will manage the updating and deleting and cleaning up of old records. And you'll see a lot of NADM videos where people are like the RAG system where they have to do that themselves, which is fine. This one does it for you. So another win here with using this for RAG. But RAG, I mean, it's great, but it's not everything. We get assistance, we have agent flows, and we have chat flow. And they, I think they are both awesome. All three of them are awesome, but N8N and Flowwise have the lead on agents and agentic stuff right now. With that said, I made the widget. I clicked on this guy here. I was all ready to insert the widget somewhere. And I went to my lovable site. I said, hey, make me a quick page. Stick in this widget. It did it all. I go to deploy it, GitHub repo, put in my Docker file, send it to Coolify, and boom, it's deployed. That's the easy part. But then I get the cores issue. And this is classic. Doing cores can be hard when you have one particular widget from another company like Intercom or Zendesk, anything that gives you a widget. That widget is trying to make communications with domains that are outside the domain you're on. So browsers don't like that for good reasons. And there's ways to prevent that. Now, the widget from Flowwise will let you limit who can use it, which is great by domain. But what ChatGPT did was it had me fix it by just quickly spinning up another Coolify instance. In here, I just stuck a very simple Docker file, and then I ran that Docker file and pointed or changed the configuration of the Flowwise widget. So the Flowwise widget, instead of pointing to, it ended up pointing to my domain. And when it points to my domain, you don't get the cores problem. And then that particular path it went to was just a proxy to the real domain. And that's why sometimes building things in single page applications can be hard. And, and, and that's why sometimes having a really thin back layer is nice. But this was nice too, because I was able to stand up in Coolify a Docker proxy really quickly. And again, you could do this with Nginx, so many ways to do it. I just went this route to see what would happen. And so within moments, I was able to stand this up and run it, point it, and then we get to a place where now it works. So basically it's working on my website. You can start it up, you can click on tell me about surfing, and those buttons are nice. That's where I'm trying to get at too with Flowwise. You get those nice chat options. In here, you can add, sorry, here's your chat widget that we're used to. You can have references to where it found the data. That's really nice. You can have buttons that, let me see if I could find that. So then you can add other things like starter prompts, follow-up prompts, speech to text, chat feedback, chat analytics. You can allow file uploads, which could lead to more interactions with your customers processing that file. So really important because you could save yourself a lot of work and a lot of code if you use this, but if you get the cores issue, of course it's frustrating. So that prevents the cores issue, allowing you to use Flowwise, with your self-hosted application, lovable, flow-wise, great combination, Coolify hosting it all for you, 
another great combination so you can save some money and host your own things and have more, not even just the money, just more overall control about making things happen. So it's a nice combination overall. Those Hetzner servers, I'll be doing some stuff on that as I show how to host FlowWise. Some great pricing here. A couple of my customers are using DigitalOcean. We're bringing them over here because it's like a third of the price. So I'll start talking about that too as we as I start to do more of this hosting, self-hosting of these resources. All right, just wanted to share that. Thank you.